You know what I mean? You're gonna be fine. It's just like a post-match interview, except you'll be sitting down and not sweating. Well, you'll be sitting down anyway. Here, Michael. Is it true that the club's offered Alex a new contract? It's priority number one now, Jim. Might even have a few surprises for him if we're lucky. Oh, good, good. Just as long as Alex isn't worried. All that matters to him now is a new season. It's not just about the new season, Jim. It's got to be the deal that sets him up for life. <laughs> you know, I, I wish Harold had had someone like you. I really do. <laughs> You'll be fine, love. Just be yourself. Well, that's easy for you to say. It's real Ferdinand. And you're Alex Hunter. Alex. Hey. Thanks for coming out, man. Mate, nice to meet you. No problem. Look, I'm sorry to be a bit of a fanboy, but I used to watch you growing up as a kid. You, Giggsy, Ronaldo. I never imagined being here with you in front of the cameras. You trying to make me feel old? Nah. Let's get you set up, man. Come on. I'm Alex Hunter. This is Once to Watch. We go back 12 months ago without a professional contract. Then you have to go through an exit trial and find a club. Now you're an FA Cup winner. What made it happen, Alex? A lot of it comes down to hard work, but also having the face of the manager, especially as a young player. That really gives you the confidence to go out there and express yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. That's the truth. It kind of helps when you've got the game in your blood. I mean, Jim Hunter, obviously a club legend. What a player. But Harold Hunter, your father, decent player too, eh? I heard that he came in after the FA Cup final. Is that true? Um... First time I'd seen him since he left, moved to the States eight years ago. Have you seen much of him since? To be honest, he's, he's just not a part of my life. My mom, my granddad, they're my family. To be honest, I really rather not be talking about Harold. But another big part of you coming up was um, your old boyhood mate, Gareth. Gareth Walker. A great rival there between the two of you now. Tell me if this is a load of rubbish, but I heard if things got a little bit scrappy between you two towards the end. Is that right? Yeah, um, there's a lot of history there. We used to play football in the street together when we were kids, joined our first youth club together, signed for the same professional team. But it's hard. Everything changed. We were 17, just left home. Suddenly, your whole life gets turned upside down, and you all work out pretty quickly who you can trust and who you can't. In the end, I guess everyone reacts to pressure differently. Look, I think Gaz and I put a lot of stuff behind us after the FA Cup final. Maybe we both grew up a bit. But don't get me wrong, there's still a healthy rivalry there. Even when we were kids, we used to try and constantly outscore each other. Listen, so who would usually win then? Well, I guess that depends which one of us you ask. So, Alex Hunter, thanks for coming, man, and talking to us today. Good luck on a new season. Cheers. So that's it, man. We're done. Well, good job, mate. Where'd you get your questions from? And that was intense. Listen, we're just getting to the real stuff. That's what you want. But you did good, man. It was nice. All right? Well, good luck in the new season, man. <laughs> All right, mate. Up next. 
Guess we're uh, the ones to watch, eh? Mr Hunter, Mrs Hunter. It's been a while. Can't remember the last time you called me Mrs Hunter. Yeah, well, uh, only seems right. Things have changed a bit, haven't they? They certainly have. We'll be outside, Alex. Top class, Alex, as expected. Gareth, didn't know they had you for this. Why would you? Won't be my agent since that mess of a transfer, have you? Yeah, well, it's, uh, business is unpredictable, you know it is. Yeah, well, uh, I've got to run. Good work today, yeah? See you later. Mate, you're not still with that guy, are you? Of course, man, why not? Always done right by me. Oh, well, you're one of the few. What's that supposed to mean? Listen, mate, on the level, just ask around. Taylor, he's a bit of a joke. He's a big part of my transfer blowing up the way it did. Oi, Gaz, you ready to go, mate? Guess that's me. It's good to see you, bruv. All right. Good to see you, man. You too. Great job last season. Thanks very much. Hello, everyone. You all right? What do you reckon, boss? Might be nice to pick up some silverware on this tour. Get out of here. You have to earn it first, on sir. All we have to do is beat Real Madrid in the semis, then either LA Galaxy or Bayern Munich in the final. What could be easier? See quoi ça? Something you wish to tell us, mon ami? Seems Lily here believes everything he reads. He still thinks the moon landings were filmed in a movie studio. Wake up, shipper. <laughs> if the day comes when I decide to leave, you will all know about it first, not the press. And when will that be? Hmm? Center, right? You look good last season, kid. Cheers. Have a good match. Yeah, yeah, you too. Oh, uh, swap shirts after the game? I will see what I can do. Hi, once again, Martin Tyler, along with Alan Smith, as usual, we're welcoming you to the semi final of the International Club Cup. And the winner today will go on to face either Bayern Munich or LA Galaxy in the final. I mean, it is a pre-season tournament, isn't it? But feels like a bit more than that. A big club, as you mentioned, awaiting in the final and a great chance to uh, lift a trophy on the eve of another season. What a way to start that would be. Year after year, Cristiano Ronaldo seems to surpass what he's done the previous season. And it's been an extraordinary career and it's not finished yet. Well, it's not. And you've just got to admire his hunger for the game and his appetite for, for goal scoring. Really, a game goes by when he fails and uh, you'd fancy him to hit the back of the net today. Well, we've seen with the ambitions of Gareth Bale wanting to leave the Premier League to go to Real Madrid how uh, they can charm even the great players to the Bernabeu and strut their stuff. Yeah, I think it's the pinnacle of any player's ambition to pull on the famous white kit. And if you've got that on your CV, you've pretty much done it all. This is the Real Madrid lineup. We've got it down as a 4-3-3. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time. I think really they invented it and uh, plenty of countries have adopted it since. If it works, it's, it's really uh, tough to handle. This is the Liverpool side. 
Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. Milner. And they've cut it out. Tony Kroos. Karim Benzema. On to Ronaldo. The break is definitely on. Ronaldo! A real miscue here. Kroos. Tony Kroos. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. Cleared it well. Quick header, found a teammate. Karim Benzema. And he's given the free kick. Well, for a free kick, that's um, at best a sighter, really, isn't it? Yeah, I think he shanked it, you know. That was a horrible connection. James Milner is trying to catch the player in possession. Coutinho. He's coming forward with some danger. Sergio Ramos. Tony Kroos. Well, he had a great first season, Alex Hunter, didn't he, in uh, professional football, part of the FA Cup winning side, and actually, in winning the FA Cup, doing something that his famous granddad, Jim, wasn't able to do. Had a big regret that he couldn't get his hands on that famous trophy. No, I'm sure they'd have had a laugh about that over the last few months, but what a debut season it was for Alex Hunter. He set the bar quite high, hasn't he? And that will be offside. Flag went up. Here's Casemiro. Modric. Bale. Casemiro! Well, it looked a bad mess, but I think the defender just put him off. Yeah, he's got to take a lot of credit for that because uh, he had to take the shot quickly, the lad who was trying to score. Bernard. Very good forward thinking from Liverpool, always on the front foot. Chan. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there, and pass goes straight to the opposition. Emre Chan. Benzema. Benzema. Modric in really for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear, I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match. Karim Benzema. And here they are, Real on the attack again. He's got his shot off now. It comes out off the goalkeeper. Here's Hunter. Sergio Ramos. Gives away the free kick. Henderson. Now this looks promising. Jordan Henderson. Hunter. He's blocked the shot well. Modric. And the time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. Three minutes of added time. Bale. Benzema. Gareth Bale. Modric. Ronaldo the target in the middle. That's no difficulties at all for Mignolet in goal. So it's half-time, and who's going to get to the final is going to be decided in the second half today. Yeah, we haven't learnt at all. And now the second period, the second half is underway. Marcelo. Tony Kroos. 
Attacking well here. Bale. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Ronaldo. And the goalkeeper got across to it. Well, you've got to have a go, haven't you, to score a goal, but the odds were against him from that position. Uh, lost his call a bit there, I thought. It was a really wild effort. Now Sadio Mane. Alex Hunter. Getting forward well as a team now. Could get the ball into the box now. Advantage for, quite clearly, a free kick. Benzema. Now this is, and he could get away here. Bale! He's put it over. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact, the power, but accuracy just off. A substitution now for Liverpool. Attention, Winston Vance. Gallo. That's Winston Vance. Please come to gate three. Your wife is waiting for you. Hunter. Thank you. Adam Lalana. Attacking now. Henderson. That's a great finish for the first goal of the day. So a real captain's contribution here with a fine goal. Was a good goal, and it came at a crucial time, I think, for his side. Real captain's input there. Liverpool have the lead here. Modric. Sergio Ramos. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Good well stuck out of foot. Cut off the pass. Henderson. Into the attacking third. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Karim Benzema. Kroos. Neither side able to dwell on the ball for very long here. Now it's with Hunter. They're on the attack here. Coutinho! And they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. He is high and mighty with that goal. He was literally head and shoulders above everybody else there and that's a goal well worth analyzing again just widen the margin here to 2-0 cross cristiano ronaldo Marcelo. It's looking a real uphill climb for Real Madrid. Well, it's not going to be a complicated approach now. Long balls into the box from any angle. It's all about trying to win that first header. Gets his foot in there. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Coutinho. This could be a chance. And here's the shot. And behind off the frame of the goal. Liverpool want to make a change here. On to Ronaldo. Marcelo. Here's a chance to attack. Henderson. Adam Lallana, good vision. 
in towards the near post. But that's the keeper's ball from the moment the cross left his foot. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Hunter away from the opposition and then suddenly totally out of control. But completely lost his head and he's just slashed at the ball and completely miscued it. What a miss. It's Isco. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Marcelo. And the decision for the added time is three minutes. Three minutes of added time. It's Isco. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. They can be quick on the break now. Threading it through. Ball slipped to Alex Hunter, who's in the clear. Oh, it's in there. Well, he managed to keep it down, put it into the back of the net, and the keeper just couldn't reach it. Well, I didn't see it as being as one-sided as it's turned out, Martin, but uh, yet another goal and a good one too here in stoppage time. Pretty straightforward, this match, and the late goal sums it up, really. Yeah, they've just compounded their superiority with that one. Oh, he's got to make a change, this manager, because uh, it's men against boys who needs to give them a lift, the substitution, I would imagine. margin for victory can't really be any comeback in the time that we've got left full-time whistle and they've made it through to the final of the international club cup yeah and what a marker they've laid down here beating real madrid that means something whatever class of competition you're playing in so that will really help the boys if you watch ea tv tomorrow you'll be able to see who they'll play in the final as bayern munich take on la galaxy and they've done it They've got through the semi-finals, and they are in the final. It's wonderful feeling, I can vouch for that. Look at the players down there, they are ecstatic.